On today's Addictive Fishing. Is this a wild place or what? Man, that looks like a great show, don't it? Hey, look, a pot of bunker. That's about enough of this city. How about some stripers? This is Addictive Fishing. The Black Rum, baby. For the next 30 minutes, wow. you'll see why fishing is so addictive. There we go, right? We'll there. show you the most awesome rod bending, drag screaming action. So hang on to your seats for this week's journey on Addictive Fishing. Hey Blair, did you ever have a day like this where there's plenty of bait and you're just waiting for the fish? Never, man. Absolutely never. So let's uh, let's not make it a first, huh? <laughs> God, there's a that's a boil there, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of times, what happens, Blair, is when a couple schools of bunker come together, their last form of defense is to form like this big hurricane. So they'll all swarm together, and what we're trying to do is put our bait right in there, but on the outside of the school, so it looks like that weak one. So that's the one we're hoping that they're going to pick off. Well, that's, that's one thing I stress in the, that fishing academy that I teach is, you know, that the, the weakest of the species is always the one that gets eaten, always the strongest, always survives. So if, uh, if y'all can remember that, you always want to make your bait look like it's the weakest out of the whole school. That way he's usually the one that gets eaten. Yep. Blair, if you get a runner, as we say up here, you bow to the cow. Bow to the cow. Bow to the cow. It's like down south, we say bow to the king. Bow to the king. Point your rod at it, let it take some line, lock it up, come tight, and try to cross his eyes. He just got, he got real, real nervous. He's not running hard. Oh, I gotta run. I gotta run her. There we go. Here we go. Now show me how you cross their eyes. Yeah, let him finish taking it. Okay, he's got a good run on him, Blair. Yeah. Now I'm gonna lock him up. <laughs> First fish of the day. How about it, John? <laughs> Think we, we can get this one all the way to the boat? It's coming up to the surface, which is nice. Is that what the stripers do? They'll come up in the column? Yeah, a lot of them will. Oh, a nice little striper. You're right, they see the boat and they don't like it, do they? Yeah. That or he took a look at me. Say so they just got a sandpaper mouth, huh? Sandpaper mouth. Give him a little lip. All right, we got a lip. Now there's a striper. All That's right. about the size I got out of the Mississippi. There's a lot bigger ones that live here. But uh, we're gonna just toss this guy back in? We'll toss it right back in. Our dorsal fins up, so that fish is healthy. Got a big old belly on it. Probably got a bunch of our chunks in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's hope so. <laughs> That's a nice fish. That's a real healthy fish. Well, John, we're gonna let you smile with your fish here, and then we're gonna introduce you. Get this guy back in the water. Say hasta la vista, baby. Right on down. Well, welcome to this episode of Addictive Fishing. We are in the, what, the western? Western Long Island Sound. Western Long Island Sound. Right behind us, we got the skyline. I can see the Empire State Building right behind us and the skyline of New York City. We got John Luchka here, and we're catching stripers today. Nice stripers. We already had a couple on, but uh, we definitely want to show you a bunch of fish today. Y'all stay tuned to this episode of Addictive Fishing. We're in the Northeast, my first time fishing north of the Mason-Dixon line, so let's see what happens. We'll be right back. <laughs> 